Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today I'll be editing your images. So some time ago I did a video and I asked you guys to send me your images if you're interested in my series and I'll edit your images and I got about 30 emails and I've selected uh, only about six images from um, the email that I received. Why? Because most of the images were already edited and there are times when you can actually right click and look at the detail of the image it can actually tell you if it was in an editing software or not so um, some of the images were already edited so i didn't want to put them in the video because it makes no sense and most of you guys were sending me uh, raw uh, jpeg images which i need raw images so i selected these images out of um, the um, uh, email I've received I still have some more I could pick but that's for another time and I'm not sure if it's gonna be a one video or a two-part series or a three-part series so let's get right to the editing for all for the the photographer um, name and also Instagram will be in the uh, description and also will be on the screen for you guys to see all right so this is the first image I'll be working with this is the second one this is the third fourth fifth sixth all right, good. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to control E and I'm going to load the image in Photoshop. Then I'm going to press C on the keyboard for the crop tool. I'm just going to crop this image. As you guys know, I love to crop my images. I would like crop it like really, really close, like right here. Um, maybe like right here. Let me see what this looks like. Yeah, I love this. That, this is what I want to do. <laughs> All right, so this is the... Well, I love this image, actually. She has really nice skin. Yeah, despite the pimples. So let's get right to it. So the first thing I'm going to do, go over here to my action, and I'm going to click the frequent separation action. I'm going to work at 10 for the radius. And you can download the action using the link in my description as well. It's on my website. And I'm going to go down to the low frequency layer. And then I'm going to come over here to my mixer brush. I took my mixer brush out because it's easier to get to it. And my mixer brush shortcut is M. For you, it's going to be B. Uh, for the settings, ensure that the mixer brush is cleared. Ensure that you are at 2% for the wetness. Everything else remains the same. So I'm just going to scroll up here and I'm going to start mixing. So get my brush a little bit bigger by using the left and right. The left. Um, uh, bracket key the right bracket key to get it smaller all right so I'm just gonna mix using the mixer brush right now will flatten the pimples so it's easier for you to remove the pimples from the model's skin and when you're mixing always ensure that you stay in one location if you're mixing the light area or highlighted area stay in the highlighted area if you're mixing the sh uh, area that has shadow you stay in that area or the darker area all right so that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm flattening the face and also the pimples. And the good thing about the mixer brush is that it retains the, uh, uh, what are those calls again? The texture in the skin. You still have the texture there. This is one of the reasons why it's best for you to do it at 2%, the wet at 2%, so it keeps the texture. I don't like to add blur to my images. I'm gonna come down to the arm and do the same thing. This is a really, really nice image. So guys, when you're sending the images, ensure that you send the best images and ensure that you do not edit the image before you send it over to me. And I also need a raw image because I get better um, detail out of a raw image rather than a JPEG image all right so I'm now going to remove the pimples by using the clone stamp tool which is S on the keyboard for the clone stamp I'm gonna go to the high frequency layer and then I'm gonna sample area and then paint sample paint so you should always sample a clean area and then paint. All right. 
I was thinking about doing as, as a matter of fact that's exactly what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the entire video and then I'm um, just gonna cut it up in different parts because <laughs> I don't want it to be like an hour because it might be an hour but I'd rather just cut it up good just come down here I mean if you can use whether the clone stamp tool or the um, uh, oh I just remove a, a what try not to remove stuff like what you know from the model's face because that's natural scroll up some more this is the part you don't want to rush because if you rush over this part you're going to miss pimples trust me and it's best to always start from the top and come right down so you don't miss anything because if you if you go all over the place you're definitely gonna miss um, some of the imperfections Alright, I'm going to zoom back out. Alright, we're going to come under the eye again. So I'm going to come over to this portion. I'm going to do the same thing. To be honest, most times, well, yeah, most times you don't necessarily have to um, do the mixing first, but trust me, the mixing over the pimples, it's it's much easier to remove um, the blemishes. Trust me. But it's all about how. It's all about your workflow, though. Whatever works for you, because sometimes I don't do mixing first. Mo sometimes I um clean up the image first and then do mixing after. And sometimes I don't do mixing at all. I just remove the pimple from the skin, dodge and burn, and that's it. Because we do have some models that have some really nice skin and no um, imperfections. So, but despite that, this image is beautiful. I love it. Trust me. I would definitely love to shoot her. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So we have a batch right here reason for that is because my brush is too big so get it smaller I always try to keep the the brush size as small as the pimple so you don't have like, any blotching on the skin or a patch or anything like that and sometimes you have to be careful where you're sampling from because that will cause the blotchiness as well Alright, it's already eight minutes and <laughs> I'm nowhere yet. I guess the only thing I have to do after this is dodge and burning and then add the color and I'm done. This is why having a makeup artist is, is good at times because you have less work. See, look at her skin. Beautiful. Alright, so I think I am done now. So let me zoom out and see what's happening here. For for skin like these, um, sometimes it's best to do just dodge and burning only. Um, I've seen some photographers, I've watched some videos before and I've seen um photographers doing dodge and burn no frequency separation just dodge and burn and i mean the images looks great 
But the only problem with the dodge and burning only when you're retouching is that it takes a lot of time and I don't have that time on my hand so <laughs> um, you just have to do frequent separation and use the mixer brush cuz yeah all right good so the next step now is to do some dodge and burning uh, the dodge and burning what I'm talking about though is you have to go like um, what's this call again you'd go to the gradient and then well you use the gradient under the adjustment layer so gradient right here what you do is to reverse it and then go to the black and white gradient and then um, sometimes you you can um, go to like levels and get it a little bit darker good and what you'd actually do is to get the dodge and burn layer now so for example you're going to do dodge and then you would like um i think it's the dark area so let me go on the brush and put this at about one percent so like this area that is dark you would more likely burn this area i think that's i think that's it over there. you burn this area um let me try Let me remove this and this. So let's look at it before and after. Before and after. I think it's something like that. I think you burn it or I don't remember. Trust me, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm not even going to go through that. I'm going to learn how to do it and then I'm going to do a video on it. All right. So let me just go back to the dodge. So I'm going to do some dodging right now. I'm at 1% on the brush for the flow so I'm just gonna do right here I think it's the opposite though I think you should dodge um, the light air the dark area and burn the light area something like that but yeah I'm gonna try it and then I'm gonna do a video on it and show you guys so what I'm doing right now I'm just lightening up the under the uh, models eyes and the cheek nose bridge the chin just gonna brighten up a little bit anywhere you see light that's where you wanna enhance a little bit not too much if there's already a highlight there you don't necessarily have to do put any more alright let's look at the before and after for that so that's before after let's go to the dodge now so I'm gonna do the same thing the dark areas just gonna burn them like right here Mm. under the chin under the lips I meant alright that looks good uh, maybe I'm just going to put some burn right here good right there as well yeah so I think I'm done I'm just going to put some burn right here as well just a little bit mm, that looks good alright so let's look at before and after for this one so before and after before and after all right so i'm done with that image so i'm just gonna go on to the other image now i don't think i need to do any color into it let me just add some blue to it and see what it looks like and let's load the before and after for everything again before and after yeah the blue works all right oh you know what i didn't work on the model's eye Alright, let me just go to the eyes now. So I'm going to go to clean teeth and eyes. Be on the keyboard for the brush. I'm going to ensure that I'm at 30% uh, and clean the eyes. We don't want to look unrealistic, so I'm just going to just add a little bit to it. Just to areas that's red. Good. That looks good. Nothing else I need to do with this image. All I have to do now is to save it. So I'm just going to control shift save. So it's now save in Photoshop. So that's the before, that's the after. So I'm going on to this image now, Control E, 